great partner and uh, he mouths back a little bit once in a while, but uh, and, you know, he's a great partner and um, I'm with him you know, 24 seven basically, he's part of my life. That is Sergeant Sean Willie from the Ellsworth Police Department back in 2012. He was talking about his then new partner, canine Chase, a Belgian Malinois. Chase was only one year old at the time and still had hundreds of hours of training in front of him before he could finish his certification. But finish? He did. Chase was trained for a number of different purposes on the Ellsworth Police Department, which today is announcing his retirement. Over the course of his career, Chase helped find narcotics, fleeing criminals and missing people. Because Chase was trained so long ago, he was trained to sniff out marijuana. And as that has become less and less illegal, that has meant changes for how Chase did his job. Here's Shannon Moss with that story from 2018. Every Monday, canines and their handlers from 16 police departments in Maine meet up for training. Of all the dogs here, Chase, a canine with the Ellsworth Police Department, is the only one trained on marijuana. Um, at the time, it was still illegal. Uh, back in 2012, so uh, we trained him as a dual purpose dog and part of that dual purpose was to find marijuana. And he's been successful, but times have changed. So he's definitely called less, yes. Called less because police dogs that are trained to detect marijuana are complicating searches where pot has been legalized. When police dogs sniff out drugs, they can't tell you what drug they've just detected. The dog sitting, which is the alert that we use, then we know that the dog is alerting on an odor, a narcotic odor, but we can't tell which odor that is. And that poses a problem for prosecutors. The defense attorneys can kind of tear your case apart because of that, that aspect. Police departments in Maine saw this trend coming, and for the past several years, many have chosen not to train its new canines on marijuana. Maine's heroin epidemic also came into play. The heart of drugs, they wanted to refocus our, our searches on that, not marijuana. That's not great news for all drug dogs, but for Chase and other canines <laughs> who are also trained in tracking and apprehension, they still have a long career ahead of them. That was Shannon Moss three years ago. Ellsworth police say Chase will happily retire, taking long walks, hanging out at camp, and eating plenty of dog treats. Happy retirement, Chase. We'll be right back with your forecast.